Alcoholic liver disease is still the most prevalent uh, liver disease in the world and the major problem in the Western population. Especially its severe complication, alcoholic hepatitis, has a high mortality and is clinically very relevant. We have learned in the last years that uh, immune mechanisms play a major role, but also the gut microbiota is critically involved. So we were interested whether the gut microbiota could play a major role in this disease. Acamansia mucinephila is a major commensal constituting 3 to 5 percent of the gut microbiota. And the focus of our study was the role of Acamansia mucinephila in this disease. First of all, we could demonstrate in humans that patients exposed to ethanol, especially with alcoholic liver disease and alcoholic hepatitis, had a severe decrease in stool Acamansia mucinephila concentrations. And in the next step, we could also demonstrate that mice after administration of ethanol showed a huge decrease in stool Acamansia mucinephila concentrations. So in the next step, we were interested whether gavashing or administration of Acamansia mucinephila to rodents could be beneficial. So we used again our uh, uh, mouse model, gavashing ethanol approximately over two weeks. And then we gavashed three times weekly to those mice, Acromansia mucinephila. And first we could demonstrate that indeed the concentrations in the stool go up, which was very important. But secondly, we could show that indeed gavashing of Acromansia mucinephila improved liver disease. So administration of Acamansia mucinephila was beneficial. It suppressed inflammation in the liver. It reduced the lipid content. And overall, it resulted in well-being of animals. Of course, even more relevant was then the next study where we thought, could Acamansia also be beneficial in the treatment of ethanol-induced liver injury. So in the next set of experiments, we gavashed Acamansia mucinephila to mice which had already been treated with ethanol for 10 days. And even when we administered a single dose of Acamansia, after 10 days in this model, it was again able to improve liver disease. So the summary is that indeed Acamansia mucinephila seems to be very beneficial in the setting of ethanol-induced liver injury. So the key question, of course, was uh, which mechanisms could be involved? Is it a direct mechanism on the intestine or is it an effect on the liver? And we could demonstrate that uh, administration of Acamansia improves uh, mucus thickness. It increased the number of goblet cells. It increased expression of occludine and claudin-3, and it also decreased systemic endotoxin levels. So obviously it was able to improve the intestinal epithelial barrier. So to summarize, our study suggests that uh, Acamansia mucinephila could be potentially used as a new probiotic in the future in the treatment of alcoholic liver disease and related complications.